Hi friends, in this tutorial I'm going to be covering the do until loop. So in the previous few tutorials I have covered the for loop, the for each loop, while loop and the do while loop. In this one I am going to be covering the do until loop. So what the do until loop does is just is basically like the opposite, sorry not the opposite I would say, it's kind of like um, the do while loop. Uh, the only uh, difference that uh, you can say is that um, with a do while is that a do until loop is uh, it's, it's basically like a do while loop but uh, with a do uh, until loop it exists when the condition returns true rather than when it falls so in the previous one you saw that as long as uh, our input in the previous one in which I covered the do while loop in the previous tutorial so as long as our input didn't equal uh, quit or buy or whatever uh, input we specified, it kept running it. So what it does, this what do until does is uh, that it's basically the same, but it says that uh, run it until the loop equals this particular character that we want. For example, we want buy, etc. So let me demonstrate it. Let's open PowerShell, Notepad. So what we do, the first thing is that we create an, a variable. In this case, we are naming it input. So what it does, this line is that it creates a variable called input and it sets it to empty. So currently, there is nothing inside it. After that, what we want to do is that we want to say do. This is where our do starts, do, do block. So we are saying uh, read host. Enter in. Uh, enter in your choice for example so what it does is that uh, the do port uh, it says that oh uh, well, yeah I forgot this let's type in input so what it does is that uh, every time we run this script it uh, does this it outputs enter in your choice and it says read host so what it does is that it prompts the user to enter in something and whatever the user types it goes inside the input variable and then we are saying do it until after this our statement comes in so we are saying do it until input equals let's say by so what it does is that it says read whatever the user types put it in the input variable and it says keep doing this statement again and again and again whatever is inside the do block until input is equal to buy so it says do do this again and again and again as long as the user doesn't uh, uh, type buy so if you run it do until so it says enter in your choice which is this string in here that I have put enter in your choice so whatever we input it will go to the input variable and if the input equals by it will exit but let's type in something like hello what ABC or BSC so until now let's type by so when we type by what it does is that it exits so it's kind of like the opposite or in a way of the do while loop what do while does is that uh, in the do while loop instead of typing um, until we would type in while and instead of equal to we would type in not equal to so what it would do is that it would do this as long as or while uh, the input is not equal to buy so what it, this the do until does it says do it until uh, the input equals buy so this is it for this tutorial guys if you have any questions, any suggestions, recommendations, feel free to put it in the comment section below. And uh, if you want to uh, learn about the other kind of loops, such as for loops, for each loop, the while loop, or uh, the do while loop, uh, these are on my channel as well. Uh, so I'll see you guys in the next one.